Uh, Jivan, do you also see the request to join, or is it just me? I think it's just you. Okay. All right. So I hope you can all see my screen here. So I just wanted to um, try to explain what our organization is about. Uh, so Nakshatra is uh, mostly a student community right now, a network of uh, professors, undergraduate level students, and PhD, PhD level students as well. So we started this around um, six months back. Before that, it had a very different uh, objective. Uh, but right now, what we're focusing on is a specific problem. And the problem is there is not much of uh, skill training uh, for students at the undergraduate and graduate level. And of course, the top few institutions in India offer amazing uh, courses and training. But we also felt uh, the majority of colleges in the country right now lack a certain standard of um, uh, education, right? So where people walk out and they don't feel completely prepared, either for industry or for or for research as a career. So our objective was to somehow bridge that gap and provide access to um, anyone out there, right? And it doesn't matter which institute or which background you come from. Um, but if you have the curiosity to learn and you know what research field you want to be uh, working on, then we wanted to create a model that will help you. So the solution we found is in the form of two things right now. Uh, one is the crash courses. The other is the project teams. And all of this comes under uh, Nakshatra's umbrella of uh, virtual classrooms. So the virtual classroom is a model that that's working for us because uh, it's it has no geographical boundaries, right? All our calls, every lesson we have, uh, discussion we have is completely online. One minute, I'm getting a lot of uh, requests on the group. OK. Right. Uh, so like I was saying, our solution comes in the form of crash courses and project teams. And here we try to connect uh, teams of students who are mostly at the senior undergrad and grad level to aid or PhD level researchers or professors, ideally professors. Uh, but we started off quite um, recently. So our goal is to first get as many researchers, PhD level students on board. And the secondly, uh, secondly, we have project teams as well, which are not really lessons, right? They're not really courses, but it's just a collaborative group working on a specific idea. Um, so the crash courses, both of them are aim to be at around eight to 10 weeks, sometimes longer, depending on the course. Um, so right now, we have quite a few uh, teams right now uh, in cosmology, astrophysics. We also have uh, visual mathematics, which is um, we give them training in a software called GeoGebra, so they get to visualize uh, graphs along, uh, you know, while also learning multivariable calculus. And yeah, we have Python programming in a very uh, rigorous manner so that in you know, just a span of around two months, the students are very confident when they walk out. And uh, within astrophysics, we are actually interested in uh, observational astrophysics mainly, as well as data-driven astronomy. Uh, so why we are introducing the idea of the organization on this call is because uh, we need volunteering mentors uh, to reach out and help students out there. And there are a lot of people right now. There are uh, around 40 students learning from us. And uh, they see this as that one solution they have where they can actually you know, go and get you know, high quality education uh, and skill training. So we also want people to come up with project ideas, which is you know, doable for undergraduate level students. So that really boosts their confidence levels. So those of you who are already uh, who already have some amount of expertise in these domains, such as maybe cosmology or particle physics, perhaps, you can come on board and just give us project ideas or maybe volunteer once a month to teach these teams um, so that they get access to good quality training. So just to end, uh, we also have a lot of events such as the one that's happening right now. We want to we want to make it available for people out there. So we connect professionals to Nakshatra. So they might not be directly connected to research or physics in particular. For example, Jeevan is a software developer. But there are a lot of skills they can teach us. So we also connect professionals into the group. Um, and therefore, we have every Friday, we have coding nights. We've got a calculus study group. And 
uh, workshops such as these in the in the near future. Uh, so we just want you all to uh, check our website out once, but uh, maybe join our Telegram discussion forum at the end. So we'll just give you the link. So I'll stop sharing now. I don't want to take too much time. I think we have, OK, 25 members. I think we can start, Jiman, right? OK. Uh, so should I assume everyone has the prerequisite installed? No one has written anything on the chat yeah. box. Say. Mm -hmm. So I think all of them have done the installation. Hope all of you can see my screen. Um, OK. Uh, so let's just start by Googling for the definition of Git. You know, If you type Git on Google, what does it say? So it says uh, Git is a distributed version control system for tracking cha changes in soft source code during software development. It is designed for coordinating work among programmers, but it can be used to track changes in any set of files. Now, uh, like some of them, uh, some of the statements are making sense. Like it is designed for coordinating work among programmers. It can be used to track changes in any set of files, but Version control system. You might know. You might not know what that is. So, let's look into more detail about what version control system is. So, version control system is a system that keeps records of your changes. So, uh, you write a code. You make changes to it uh, today. You make changes to it uh, tomorrow. Uh, but uh, if you without Git or without version control. You don't know which change you made at what point point of time. And when there are collaborators working on the same source code, multiple people, uh, it gets hard to um, keep track of who made uh, what change. So that's where version, uh, version control comes in handy. So it also allows for collaborative development. As I explained, uh, if there's a version control system, you know uh, even if there are multiple people, multiple people working on the same uh, code uh, source code, you can uh, keep track of who made uh, which change at what time and and all that. Um, yeah. Also, if you want to revert uh, revert back to any change, uh, you can do that with the version control system. Um, yeah. So uh, you might not have used Git, but uh, you must have. Uh, you must have all used the version control somewhere. Uh, so I would want to demo a version control system, which is not really Git, but it is a sort of a version control system, which is there in Google Docs. Um, so this is Google Docs. I start writing some text. Hello, world, uh, Let me zoom in. So uh, this document is also shared with Sitara here. So there are multiple people working on this document. So uh, it gets difficult. So if there are multiple people working on a doc on the same document, um, if there is no version control system, yeah, you wouldn't know what's the best version. Like if you, if there are some mistakes, you don't know. You have to have the capability of going back to the best version and all that. So. So I also made this change, and Sitar also made this change. But I, we don't want both of these. Maybe we want one of these. So if you click on this, this shows the history of everything that has happened so far. So it says green is me, uh, purple is Sitara. And uh, May 28, 6, 12 PM was the first change that I made. Like it was blank. I created the document. Then I added. Uh, yeah, then I added hello world, then Sitara added hi there. Um, can you uh, can you change some something in my statement, Sitara? Okay. Yeah, maybe uh, someone has made a change, but you don't want the change. Maybe you don't like the statement. How do you go back to this change? You, uh, you can go to the, 
change that you want. So this is the change that I want, and you can click on restore this version. So if I click on restore, it goes back to that version. So this is exactly what Git is. Uh, like these are the basic features of Git. Git has even more extra features, but these are some of the most uh, important features of Git. Uh, and this applied to your source code, like the code you write, the programs you write. Uh, yeah, otherwise it gets very difficult to exchange your code. Like there is a person somewhere sitting in a different country, you're sitting here. You both are working on a project. You made a, a change in a file and then uh, your friend also made some changes in the same file. So how do you do it? So you exchange the two files and then you copy the part, your part, copy his part and put it in the same file. That's a lot of manual work. So which is what Git does. So it combines two source code uh like properly intelligently and uh, it also keeps track of which code like uh, which code uh, was written by whom and at what time and all that so this is what git does so uh, it uh, keeps track of the uh records of all changes and uh, it allows for collaborative development which means it can combine uh the two pieces like it combined into a single document. This is this is an example of collaborative development. And it also allows you to know who made what changes and when. And you can also revert. So uh, yeah, so a little bit history about uh, Git. So Git is not the only version control system. So version control system is like a software, let's say, uh, like, you know, programming. There are programming languages, but Python is not the only programming languages. C is there, C++, Java is there. Similarly, version control system is like that. It's a generic thing. Git is just one of the applications of, uh, one of the implementations of version control system. There is subversion, perforce, mercurial, but Git is currently the most popular version control system in the world. Like everyone uses Git uh, currently. Yeah. Uh, any doubts so far? You can hit in the chat box. You can even unmute and ask. I'll wait for a minute. No questions? Uh, someone's asking is Git open source? Yes, Git is open source. In fact, uh, Git itself is on GitHub, uh, so yeah. So I'll be explaining GitHub later, if you don't mind. Uh, then you can get the reference or you can explain right now. So Git and GitHub are different. So Git is a software, uh, client-side software. Uh, it can even run on your machine. Machine. So Git can run your, on your local computer. You can write continuously start coding and uh, keep uh, saving the changes committing the technical word in git is committing so you commit the changes each time you make a change and uh, uh, but if you want to publish it to the world you, if you want to publish your world to the uh, if you want to publish your code to the world then you go to github and publish it so github is the largest web based git repository hosting service so it hosts git repositories so uh, so any set of files that is uh, controlled by the Git version control system is called a repository. So uh, GitHub hosts those uh, Git repositories, just like how you know Google Images hosts images. Similarly, like YouTube hosts videos. Similarly, GitHub hosts uh, Git repositories. So that's the difference between GitHub and Git. Uh, yeah, so it also allows you for code collaboration with anyone online. So for example, my, there are so many popular open source softwares which are all on uh, GitHub, like you know, Linux is on GitHub and uh, React is on GitHub, uh, even SciPy, NumPy, uh, Pandas, uh, any machine learning library, everything is on GitHub. So even if you want to uh, make changes to their code base, if, if you want to propose new changes to their uh, repositories you can do using git and github so github is like a uh, publishing platform if you 
you're publishing your code on GitHub. Yeah. So yeah, Git is open source. If you want, you can even contribute to the source code of Git. So Git was uh, found in 2005 itself, but GitHub is like a newer thing. It was founded in 2008. Uh, yeah, I think the interest should be enough. If you have any doubt, you can ask. We can directly try our hands at Git directly. Google, Wikipedia, work on Git, or any other source. So Google is uh, closed source. Google is not open source. I'm not sure about Wikipedia. I think Wikipedia is also closed source. And I'm not sure. Wiki is OK. Wikipedia is also open source. Uh, yeah. Any other question? We can edit the data if you have a credible source and wiki. Oh, that way. OK. Yeah, so Wikipedia itself is collaborative and open. But I don't know if the source code of Wikipedia, the software, is open source. When you say open source, it generally refers to the uh, uh, code, the code of the software that runs Wikipedia. So I'm not sure if Wikipedia is open source. Uh, it's okay. Uh, so I'll be walking through uh, the steps of Windows first. Windows and Mac. Windows slash Mac. Both of you can follow the same steps. Then I'll go to Linux if you don't mind. So I want you all to follow through, follow along with me. So let's uh, get some experience on uh, version control system by writing some code maybe let's uh, hope you all of you have a text editor and uh, github for desktop installed if you don't have you can if you don't have github for desktop you can message here so you're on windows and uh, mac should you ask one of them to screen share i'm on my phone it's okay Siddharth, should we ask one of them to screen share so that we are? Okay. Maybe so you can many... start, and then after a while, okay. they can screen share. So cool. Up. Let's uh, let's get uh, started with using Git with our local files first. Then we have two tutorials today. One is a local repository. One is a remote repository. So remote repository is where someone has already someone already has a GitHub repository that is his their code base. For example, I think Kritika has a repository. Correct. Kritika tutorials. So the Kritika tutorials is created by Kritika. But what if you want to make some changes to this code base? Uh, that will be covered in tutorial two. First tutorial will be how do you uh, add Git to your own existing code base or like a new code base? Let's uh, let's go through that first. So. I want you all to open GitHub, uh, GitHub Desktop. This is GitHub for de Desktop. Hope all of you are signed in uh, here. You can even unmute and talk or ask doubts in the chat section if you don't understand. Or if I'm going too fast, you can let me know. So I'll wait for you to come to the screen. Let's wait for a few seconds. OK, I think all of you are here. So let's create a new repository on your hard drive. Can you all click on this? Hopefully, you're all seeing on this, uh, seeing this screen. Uh, you're supposed to give a repository name. You can say git intro or whatever, up to you. You can give any name you want. Trying out git. So you can leave all the options as it is, create repository. So what we did is we uh, 
created an empty repository so repository is as i told you it's just a folder which has version control attached to it so just like how that google doc had version control on it this uh, repo this folder called git intro in your computer has a uh, version control installed in it so any file you add any changes you make to the file git this uh, software will track it so that's what we are uh, going to try out now so this uh, folder is already created on your computer right now i want you all to open it so mine was in documents uh you can check where yours is mine was in documents github git intro so you can see that there is an empty folder here uh so let's open this folder in a text editor now so that will be creating some files inside it so just go to any text editor notepad whatever you have i'm sure all of you have a text editor go to file open uh open that uh folder so mine is in documents github get intro open it so you can see that there is a folder and there is something called git attributes you can ignore it i want you all to create a new file uh let's create i hope everyone knows python if you don't know just uh, copy whatever i am doing it's okay so let's just create a uh code now like hello.py hello.py this is a new python file uh I want to make sure you're following along. Uh, Saudamini, can you share your screen? Jivan, there's a bit of lag. I think you can turn there's off the lag. Video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a problem with my Linux. Oh, you're on Linux. Oh, he's using Linux. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we can pick anyone. So whoever is using Windows, uh, can one can person volunteer. just? You can volunteer. You can just say something on the chat box. You if you have a good internet yeah. yeah how how do we open that on linux uh, i'll come to linux later now we are dealing with yeah. windows right now you can just watch yeah okay i have installed okay babesh uh, can you share a screen yeah. just to make sure you are following along and, uh, and also answer any of your queries uh, you can click on the right here in present should i have to stop present i am no, not right. sure two people can't share how is it um is my screen uh, available like uh, are you yeah i can see your screen i can see your screen i can see your screen, can see your screen. Yeah. and i opened the folder get in grid so yeah i i lagged from there so i don't know okay didn't... cool cool i'll repeat so yeah mm -hmm. so you just open a text editor now You have a text editor? Yeah. Uh, shall I open Notepad or uh, VS Code? VS Code is good. Hopefully, it doesn't lag or anything. It's a little bit heavy. my vs code is opening okay uh after you open vs code you can open this folder that you created on vs code others if you have doubts you can uh, type on the chat i think most of you are not on your computer <laughs> Yeah, open folder. But that's all right. Uh, if you understand the concepts, you can go back and do it on your own later. Okay. Uh, 
now i select the folder yeah i select the folder Over. Uh, maybe it's loading or something. You can retry. Hmm. Oh, it opened, I think. Yeah. It's a bit, yeah, it's open. It opened now. Hmm. Cool. So, new, new, can you create a new file called whatever? Any Python file? Are you have you done Python? Yeah, I've done Python. Cool. You can do save as and do one thing. Uh, right click on get intro. There uh, on the left. Yeah, there you can do create new file. Uh, yeah, that one. Correct. You can give it a name. Whatever dot py. Py. Anything. Hello dot py. Yeah, intro dot py. Cool. No. Uh, let's. Why don't you write some code? Print hello world. Cool. Uh, save it. So now, as I already told, this git intro folder is now under git's version control system. So if you open the GitHub thing now, you can see that it has already tracked the new file. As it is, it's a bit slow. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it has already tracked that there is a new file added, and it even shows what you added. Uh, so now we. Uh, this is the first step. We created an empty repository. We added a file. Uh, it has tracked that there is a there is a new file added, but it is not yet committed into the change. So the change has not yet been committed. So uh, let's commit the change. So uh, you can give it give a commit message there. There is something called create intro file. You can either keep it as it is, or uh, you can change your message. Up to you. Uh, where, where do the, uh, yeah, there's a t uh, text field called create intro dot I will just type a description. Yeah, you can type whatever you want. I'll just leave it blank. Up to you. Yeah. Okay, now commit to master. Okay, so now you have successfully added one file to your repository. Okay, let me also do the same thing. Uh, I will keep the message same. Commit to master. So now it has zero uh, changed files. If you go to history now, you can see that. Uh, can you go to history on GitHub desktop? Yeah. There is uh, next to changes. You can see that there was one initial commit. Then there is hello. Mm -hmm. uh, so initial commit is nothing, just Git attributes. That was auto created uh, by the GitHub application. Second is hello. Uh, click on hello on the left. Uh, that one, huh? So it says you added a new file. Now, is there a way to create now files in the GitHub desktop app? Or, uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. I think there is no way. No way. You don't have a. You don't have a text editor. I think there is. Um. No way. Can you all confirm if you've reached like this step that they are currently on? And if you haven't, you can just write it on the chat box or if you need some help. OK. Don't do that. <laughs> you, you can stay on your own. That <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. Uh, it's OK. You don't have to watch my screen. I'll, I'll guide you. And uh, now, why don't you make another code change okay. uh, within the same file? In the VS code? Yeah, in VS code. Now, up to you. You can add something, some other code, fresh lines of code. Uh, 
If, if anyone is a bit confused on how to navigate through Google Meet and if you're using it for the first time, you have to open the right side tab on participants. It shows people. And then you have to pin the person who's presenting. For example, if you want to see Jeevan's presentation, you have to pin his um, presentation. Or you, have to, you can switch between people, basically. OK, save this. Uh, OK, that should be enough. OK, so go back to GitHub desk, uh, desktop app now. Uh, go to changes. Now you can see that it shows plus plus, which means you added one line, empty line, and you added one more line. So GitHub is ask this Git application is asking you if you want to commit the fr uh, freshly made changes to it. Uh, let's say you don't want to make this change. Let's say it's not a good change. So uh, you can right click on that intro.py file. Yeah, there, and you can do discard changes. Yes, discard change. Now, if you go back and uh, check your file, it's it's lost mm. because it was a bad change. Let's say it was a change which you don't want to commit, then you just discard it. So, um, yeah, make that change again. Uh, let's commit this time. That's OK. It says no new line. Okay. You can give, so GitHub uh, uh, commit messages are there so that you remember what change you made. So always uh, give meaningful commit messages so that when you go, the, go to the history and check, you know what changes you made. Uh, so you can say added my name or something. Yeah, you can commit this to master now. Yeah, so now we have no uh, changes to be um, updated. Now, uh, why don't you add one more file? Uh, there, yeah. Create a new file, right? You can create a new file. Yeah. So this is the basic workflow of your coding. I'm sure this uh, must be comfortable to you. Like, you would always create files. Uh, make changes to, to the code. The only thing is we are adding version control system to your code base. That's all. Uh -huh. So let's say you add uh, wrote some more code. Uh, write anything you want. Uh, now go to go back to intro.py. Yeah, it shows. Go to intro.py. No, no, no. On the text editor, go to intro.py. Uh, make some more changes. Yeah. Okay. That should be enough. Uh, save it and go to GitHub now. Now you made two changes, uh, so it will show like this. So one of them is a new file, one of them is an existing change. So now you can commit two of these changes together into a comment message. Uh, so there is a checkbox on the left that says which changes you want to commit. Like if you want to uh, commit only one of them, then you can unselect. You can even use two separate messages for each of them, or you can. Uh, you can decide to discard both of them, or you can commit both of them. It's up to you now. You can commit both of them. Okay. Um, okay, but, uh, uh, see... Because you are supposed to uh, enter a commit message. Okay. You can say added intro. Dot py. Hope all of you are following this. Any doubts? You can post on the chat. Yeah, so you have all the history now. 
uh, you can always go back to a change. Let's say, um, um, let's make a mistake in the code. Okay, can you make some? Can you create a bug in your code, which is like a syntax error? You can print an undefined variable. You can print C. Yeah, that's also fine. Anything? Yeah. Uh, save it and comment it. Uh, OK. So now you committed, but you have a bug in your code, which was introduced recently. So one commit ago, you uh, created that bug. Now you don't want that bug anymore. But you don't have to manually change it because the bug might be in uh, multiple files. So you can just go to the previous commit, uh, click on added intro, right click. Uh, no, uh, click on the update itself. Let's uh, uh, update intro, click on the first itself. No, no, no. Yeah, right click on this. You can revert this commit. Yeah, so now it's gone completely. And this is a new commit. So it just reverted the update intro.py. So this git does it for you already, version control. Okay. How can other person see the changes the author has made? So this uh, first tutorial is all about local repository. So this is, you're using it personally for your own code base. So he has not decided to publish it yet. So this is uh, personal to him, this code base. So you can't see it. Only if he decides to publish on something like GitHub, only then you'll be able to uh, track changes so maybe let's push try to push it now um, can you go to uh, go back to the screen uh, click on hit intro there on the top left side no no, no on the uh, github desktop itself uh, uh, click on that get intro thing another okay you're not seeing it ah uh, you, you uh, so you're saying published repository right on the third tab yeah Huh. Why don't you publish this repository so that um, all of them can see it? You can publish it. Oh, it's private. Uh, oh. I think you can check it. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. And now, can you go to your uh, browser and show the uh, go to your GitHub account? Yeah, don't go there. GitHub.com. Uh, yeah, hopefully, you're logged in there. Go to your uh, profile, your repositories. Exactly. So, Git intro is already there now. Can you click on Git intro? It's private, though. Nobody can see it except you. But you can, you're showing it as a so. If this was public, uh, so Vishal could have come here and uh, checked all his changes. Can you click on six commits that thing? So if you if you want to see all his history of what changes he made, you can see all his changes. Can you change the settings to public now? You can. You can. Can you go to settings? Uh, where is it? Is it actions? Go to manage actions. I don't know if he can convert it to public now. I think he, I'm sure he can. Just a minute. Make this public. Can you share the, uh, this repository link on your uh, on the chat so that anyone can enter this? You can remove the settings part. So the link is ah uh, that one. Okay. Copy the link on the top and share it on the chat. So anybody uh, can go and check it now. Check. So Vishal, you can click on it and go and check its changes. Oh, your. No, no, on the Google Meet chat. Let okay. me hear one second. Mm. 
ओके ओके सॉरी सॉरी आसम Every everyone done this? Whoever was on Windows, everyone finished this. Any doubt? Can we have an other volunteer yeah. from Windows who can share instead of Bhavishna? Yeah, if you're stuck, we can help you out. Uh, if someone wants to volunteer on Windows, whoever is trying out, can we have a count on who how many are trying it out? Just say yes. Wh whoever is trying this out, say yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so, whoever is done, why don't you jo why don't you paste your GitHub repo that you just published? If you have published, if you haven't, yeah. you can publish it now and share the links so that we know you followed through. But if you were stuck somewhere, we are ready to help you out right now. Then. If no doubts, we'll move on to Linux. Uh, yeah. So you're so, going to be teaching uh, huh? the repository on Linux, and then yeah, the same back thing. To... The same thing I did just now with Linux. Linux is a bit tricky. Uh, I mean, I prefer Linux. I prefer doing it on uh, command line itself instead of GUI. But it's up to you. Hopefully, all the Linux users are already uh, comfortable with command line. Or air terminal. If you are, then uh, yeah, you can easily learn it. Uh, Bhavesh, you can stop sharing. It's okay. okay. Yeah, we shall can see the changes. Should I assume everyone finished? Uh, so for confirmation, we want your repository on the chat. Awesome. Yeah, we Vikrant has have... done it. Vikrant has done it. Uh, can I have one more person who is uh, sharing uh, some some other volunteer to share? Maybe who said they're working on Windows? Okay, uh, so Angel, you want to share? We can help you out so that others, whoever has joined late, can follow uh, follow again. You want to share your screen? Yeah, I, yeah, sure. We can start again. So you guys are seeing it? Just a minute. Um, where is your name? Not yet. I think it will take time. Just a minute. Jeevan, you stopped sharing, is it? Yeah, I stopped sharing because she's in. You, you all can pin Angel's screen right now. Go on to the chat. Uh, I think it will start automatically if she shares. Oh, OK. Cool. Yeah, I can see, see it now. So you didn't follow anything? Yeah. Right? I, you did a little I, bit. Yeah, I just downloaded it, and I don't know what to do. Oh, you created a repository already. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, do you have a text editor? I don't think so. You don't I have. Don't have you should have a Notepad, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do one thing. Why don't you go to File Explorer and go to that folder? Yeah, let Notepad be there. Uh, go to the File Explorer and go to that folder. Do you know where it was uh, created? Yeah, I think so. I just don't. I think it's yeah. documents and GitHub. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So uh, go to that folder inside and right click here, like somewhere outside. Okay. And uh, new uh, text okay. document. Where is the text document? Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. You can call it anything. Either you can even store text files or. Let's try this. Okay, that should be good. Okay. Okay, now open that file. Double click on it. Uh, write something. You can write anything. Okay. I'm just writing this. Okay. Okay, so you can save it. So I think you didn't see the Google Doc demo, right? Yeah. Uh, late. Late, okay. Yeah. So, um, so Git is version control system. So, uh, whatever code you write on a daily basis, you want to keep track of all the changes you made, so that when whenever you uh, maybe you introduce a bug, 
to fix it you can go back and check where that bug was introduced and you can revert that code or if you are collaborating on a project with multiple people um so if multiple people are making changes in the same file uh, it is it, it gets difficult to uh, share code with, with each other that's where git comes in handy so it uh, automatically merges the code between you, you both of you and uh, it also keeps track of which line was added by whom and uh, yeah, and when and all that so that's what we are trying out now uh, can you go to github for this so that app yeah okay so now you can uh, go to changes on the left mm -hmm. you can see that it has detected that you added a file and it has one line called webinar so you want to commit this change now so you always give one commit message and you hit on commit so there's a text box called create git.txt right there that is where you write your commit message okay yeah so it has auto filled uh, commit message for you but you can always override it okay uh so you can write whatever you want so this should be meaningful so that you know what changes you made so when you go to history and check what changes you made Mm. it should be meaningful you can keep it as it is since it makes sense you can commit it to master click on commit to master okay so this change is already made now so it says no local changes made it has kept track of all changes you made so far so why don't you make a new change you can either add a new file or you can make changes to the same file up to you so should i do it now i have so to can, go back to notepad yeah go back uh go back to notebook and change something else here. okay you saved it uh, save it yeah i did and uh, let's say you add one more file ha huh. you can go and check if you want so it says hmm. that you made that change why don't you create one more file now uh, anything you want and add add some text to it Sure. Text document. Anything you want? Yeah, save it. Mm -hmm. uh, go to GitHub app now. So now it says you have two changes. One is addition of a new file and uh, changes to the existing document. So let's mm -hmm. say you don't want one of the changes. Like new file, you want to keep it, but. that uh, change you made to the existing file you don't want it so uh, you can uh, unselect git.txt okay commit only this one you can commit it okay so now it says uh, this change is still being uh, uh, like git says that you have this change do you want to commit it or not but we don't want to commit it commit it let's say because it was a mistake or something so you can right click on that file uh here only and you can say discard yeah okay if you discard it is gone so if you open your notepad now the change is gone now uh, if you see that mm -hmm. file uh the other file yeah it's yeah. gone correct it's gone. it's gone so so now the you lost you lost uh that change uh, altogether because it you didn't want to keep track of it it was of no use but let's say you want you have committed a change already but uh, it was a bad change and you want to revert to it um, make the change again and commit it this time so change webinar to introduction and commit it this time so previously we discarded it but let's commit it now how to do that uh, change uh, change this back to introduction this text in the in notepad itself oh. yeah so whatever we discarded we added ha you can add it now let's commit it you know how to commit it so you can no okay yeah commit now let's say we didn't want this change but it's already committed so you can't really discard right because it doesn't show anything here you can't discard yeah. so how do you revert it change you can go to history okay you can go to history and uh, go to the latest commit which is the last first one update get.txt no okay the, yeah. the top one you can right click on it and you can say revert this commit so this okay. commit will be reverted now so if you see and it is auto committed the latest one it it just removes that line 
if you click on the first line it just remove that line altogether yeah. um, uh, you can go back to notepad and see now i think it didn't re refresh close it and open it again close the file and open it again yeah it did yeah it's gone again ha huh. so now we have done basics of like commit revert and all that why don't we push it to why don't we publish it for so that others can collaborate on this uh, code so go to github desktop and publish it uh, there is on the third tab there on top oh yeah okay publish are oh, you ready to sign it yeah you can sign it is it saved in your browser you can even sign in using a browser okay let me see dots what is the difference between fetch and pull yeah you're a little ahead i I'll, i'll come back to that uh, i just forgot my password <laughs> okay okay, it's cool. okay. okay. Yeah. no i i think your password is correct it's just asking to verify if you got an sms or something you can for it but yeah, yeah you, you got more sufficient you, you can stop sharing you okay, okay. yeah thank you. thank you no problem hopefully uh, all windows users got it already by now we can stick to we can switch to linux now who wants to share who wants to volunteer in linux barka wants yeah barka <laughs> Have a vote on how many of you guys are using Lena. 